Uh, this uh, weekend, over in Cairo, Cairo's always up to something. And they're having um, uh, uh, a, a temperance and Tommy gun <laughs> uh, street festival. So, you know what? I'm not even going to try to explain <laughs> this. So, we have the resident expert, the... Uh, 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 from the Cairo Historical Society, uh, Sylvia Hasenkoff, come to visit me again. You're a glutton for punishment, Sylvia. How are you? Doing well, thank you. It's good to see you. Tell me about Temperance and Tommy Gunn Street Fair. Well, this is our third annual Temperance and Tommy Gunn Street Festival. It really is a festival that uh, brings people back to the 1920s, the days of prohibition, the days of... Uh, bootlegging and uh, of course uh, Jack Legs Diamond who had a hideout in Acre in the town of Cairo. Ooh. <laughs> Great fun. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, I hope he wasn't uh, Tommy Gunned or anything over there. He was shot quite a number of times. Uh, in fact, a very memorable one almost took his life. <coughs> it was right in the, ta in the village of Cairo at the Aratoga Inn. He was, um, I forget how many actual bullet holes he got in him, but it was quite a few. He almost died from that one. Wow. So Cairo has a history. Jack Leg Diamonds. Oh, uh -oh. Yeah. He was <laughs> a He was a mobster from New York City, Irish background. Uh, had a tough life, you know, lost his mother young. His father was never around. Him and his young brother ended up uh, running the streets as hooligans and eventually were picked up by a number of the big-time gangsters. Uh, he was well known to Dutch Schultz and to uh, Mad Dog Call and all those uh, other kinds of gangsters that we had in, in uh, down in the city. And he had a hideout up in Cairo because his uh, younger brother um, actually developed tuberculosis. So he wanted a place that his younger brother could go, but also a place that he could go when it got too hot in the city. All right, all right. So um, what can we expect at this street fair? We have loads of things going on. We have a great entertainment schedule. We've got German music happening. We've got Irish music happening. We've got the Dented Fenders, who's a barbershop quartet, will be strolling up and down the street. We have Ron Toven, who's going to be on his uh, acoustic blues guitar towards the end of the day. It's oh, a great wow, set. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's kind of, we're, we're thinking about who was around back in the 20s. You mm -hmm. know, it was the Germans, it was the Irish, and it was the blues. <laughs> so we have some great stuff going on. We also have things for the kids. We've got uh, a sand art uh, um, interactive thing going on. Uh, Home Depot is coming down and setting up their little master uh, workshop. We've got a uh, petting zoo. We've got uh, also um, a Missy Runyon and her feathered and flurried friends coming down with some uh, of her rescued animals. She's you uh -huh. see her on Facebook all the time. Right, right. I, I believe she's been a guest on our afternoon show. Oh, yeah. She does a great job. We also have pony rides. So, you know, bring your kids down and, right. and do some great funds with the kids. But we have things for, for adults as well. You know, we have a lot of craft vendors up and down the street, some great food vendors. Um, we also are going to be doing a postal cancellation. It's the first ever for the Cairo Historical Society. We have the TNT station. This is where the post office comes down. We've created a cancellation stamp for our event. It will be good that day and only 30 days later through the uh, post office catalog. Oh. But, um, you know, you're going to be able to get, um, you know, that postal cancellation either on your envelopes or we have 14 uh, unique recreated postcards from the Cairo area that you can pick up and get that postal cancellation on. So it'll be, um, it'll be with the, uh, the Cairo uh, round stamp. From the, from the I'm sorry, I'm using. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a retired postal worker, so I, I know about those cancellations, and some people are really into it. Oh yeah, um, that should be. Uh, I, we had people who would travel uh, to get a Grand Central Station uh, cancellation well, yep. on their envelope. So that sounds uh, a really cool, especially for uh, the stamp collectors. Most definitely. Well, I'm a philatelic, yeah. philatelic stamp collector myself since All I was right. about you know, eight years old, so I'm in line to get them as well. Okay. And uh, coupling them with our beautiful postcards, it's a way to remember Caro back in the day and Caro as it's going to be. And by the way, folks, um, and, and uh, you know what? When, it, when it's good news, I always say, when it's bad news, you notice how I headed off the, fl the flood warning by saying the National Weather Service in Albany says 
Okay. <laughs> well, that same National Weather Service also says that Saturday is going to be sunny with a high near 78 degrees. So that's coming from me, not from them. All right. So it's going to be a sunny day. Good it's going thing. to be a nice day. And uh, uh, w- will there be any place where, where you can go and knock three times and somebody will slide the door open and say, who sent you? And you well, can... <laughs> to be honest with you, we will be doing that at the end of September, our fourth annual Case of oh! Speakeasy, <laughs> where you do need your password to get in. Uh, Joe sent uh, me. <laughs> that will be coming up. Um, we, we had that evening event going first uh, years ago, and then we decided to do a day event to celebrate you know, what people did during the day. Oh, that, is so, that sounds like a lot of fun. So we got adult fun, children fun, and um, uh, in the town of Cairo, who's uh, sponsoring this particular day? The Cairo Historical Society. Uh-huh. Um, and also we um, have been fortunate enough to partner with the uh, National Bank of Kuksaki, who is a tremendous supporter of all our events. And so they are actually sponsoring one of our um, entertainment acts. And uh, is this on on the uh, the town website or the uh, uh, the uh, Cairo Historical Society's website? It's on both. Um, we well, it, we have a very active Facebook page, the Cairo Historical Society. So that under our events there, you will find a great deal of information about what's going on. But it's also on the town website. Uh, they're very good supporters of what we do as well. And by the way, the Cairo Historical Society is friends of the, the Philip on the Radio Facebook page. Nah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we do have another really cool event that's going on that okay. day. Um, I, I actually uh, will be p- um, signing my uh, book, uh, Tracing Your Roots in Green County. It's got oh. 50 stories about... Uh, uh, people, events, and places uh, in the history of Greene County. I published it last year, and I will be doing a book signing from between the hours of 2 and 4, and um, I will be sharing the proceeds with the Carroll Historical Society. And, and let me get that title right, Tracing Roots or Tracing Your Roots? Tracing Your Roots in Greene County. Tracing Your Roots in Greene County. And that book signing is going to be from 2 to 4. Right. Oh, and, 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 and that's really great. I didn't know that you had um, uh, published a book. Ooh. Well, I actually uh, write for the uh, Greenville Pioneer mm-hmm. newspaper. I have since the very f- first issue of that newspaper back in May of 2010. And I write uh, a historical column for them. I just finished my 119th article. This particular book has my first 50 articles in it. All right, all right. So uh, there will be a book signing, Tracing Your Roots in Green County. See, that's why I got to get next to you uh, so I can uh, uh, start learning about uh, the, the history of this entire area. Green and Columbia County and, and all the little towns and villages is unbelievably interesting. It is. And well, quirky. Most people have no idea. Yeah, right. No, they have no right, idea. Right. I had no idea that Jack Legs died <laughs> was hiding out in Cairo. Oh, and, yeah. And um, it's, this year, you guys got a lot of things going. So is there anything else coming up that we should know about in the future? Well, actually, next Thursday at the Cairo Library at 7.30, we're, our, we're going to be doing movie night. And uh, the movie we've chosen is Uh, presidents in our backyard there were eight presidents that had ties to new york state and this particular documentary which was uh filmed for a a pbs station um goes through the whole story of those uh, eight presidents you know from the famous such as um uh, teddy and franklin roosevelt to Mm -hmm. william mckinley and ulysses s grant and so on and we have some very obscure ones that honestly i can't even remember their names (laughs) So that's coming up Thursday at the, at the Cairo Library. I guess that'll be around 6 p.m. Usually it is. No, the, it'll be at 7.30. 7.30, okay. Give people a chance to have some dinner and then get home. And it'll probably run till about 9 o'clock. But we do have some other events that are going to be coming up. I mentioned the case of Speakeasy on September 28th. But we also will have a couple other really big events coming up. One in October, which is going to be the Civil War Letters of Isaac G. Wilbur which are um, 75 letters that uh, this young man from Cairo wrote home to his family. Mm -hmm. He eventually was captured and died in Andersonville Prison. So it's a really um, in-depth look on his experiences through Gettysburg and everything like that. It was absolutely a phenomenal read, and I transcribed the letters, and that will also be available in book format at that time. And in um, November, we're going to be actually... Um, having Joe Capabianco uh, reprise his role as Charles L. Beach, the proprietor of the Mountain House. It's um, 
an event that many people have seen him do in the past, but he hasn't done it in years, and he's agreed to do it for the Cairo Historical Society. Ah, all right. So the, you got a lot of stuff going on. Yes, we do. And um, so uh, we've got, but let's go back to uh, this Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, Temperance and Tommy Guns. It's the third annual Temperance and Tommy Guns Street Fair over in beautiful downtown Cairo, beginning at 11 o'clock, from 11 o'clock to 6. Mm -hmm. And uh, there will be activities for adults and children alike. So get the children out of the house. They will have been confined in the house for rain for three days. So Saturday is the first sunny day. So it sounds like a great thing to do um, to get them out of there. And uh, you can go to the Cairo Historical Society's Facebook page. Uh, uh, and, of course, our guest, Sil Sylvia Hasenkopf, will be there uh, uh, signing her book, Roots, your, Tracing Your Roots in Greene County. Uh, you'll, she'll be there two to four. So if you want to meet a celebrity... <laughs> <laughs> a top-notch celebrity um, on the A-list will, will be um, uh, Sylvia. And so many other things coming up in, in Cairo next Thursday. The Presidents in Our Backyard will be featured at the Cairo Library, 7.30 p.m. And Civil War letters from Essex Geber, is that it? Essex G. Wilbur. Essex G. Weber. Uh, uh, that will coming up in October and in November. Uh, um, uh, Joe, who's I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, <laughs> he will be doing the character of Charles L. L Beach uh, coming up. So there's a lot of things going on Cairo. And I want to add, before I let Sylvia get her last dibs in, folks, uh, uh, my osmosis machine is usually turned off. So if you guys have something going that's really interesting, because I know the other communities do, get a hold of me or get a hold of WGXC, WGXC.org um, slash events or call over here or call me or call Lynn Slonica or Jess Pelugsi. Let us know because uh, this town is just so full of just really neat stuff. Do you know we started a good news um, good news radio uh, every Monday at 745 mm -hmm. and uh, 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 uh a nan comes in here, and she gives only the great things that are happening around our area. That's cool. So, uh, we, yeah, we're getting corny, but I like it. I like it, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anything else? Yeah, just want to everybody know that we have quite a number of our silver screen stars that will be also uh, coming down to visit. Uh, Mae West, Shirley Temple, uh, Clara Bow, Laurel Hardy. Um, and also some of the gangsters. Uh, Legs Diamond is going to be there, as well as his wife, Alice. And uh, oh. I hear he's bringing his girlfriend, Kiki. So we're hoping that <laughs> Alice and Kiki don't meet up on Main Street. Oh, brother. <laughs> so you got a, lots of character act, actors coming down. That, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, Sylvia Hasenkopf, thank you so much. From the Cairo Historical Society, and they also uh, they've got a great Facebook page. Just just Google Cairo Historical Society, and uh, find out uh, what they're doing, especially with the banners. Um, they erected banners for uh, they're hunting. They're still in the process of hunting down all the veterans. Well, actually, we <coughs> reopened the application process for two weeks, and mm -hmm. we already have thirty four more all banners. Right. All right, see, and and what they're doing is they're erecting banners going down Main Street um, with the name of uh, all the veterans in Cairo. And uh, so, so that's really great. So, um, wow, every time you come here, it's fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Syl Sylvia Hasenkopf from the Cairo Historical Society and keeping with uh, Tommy Guns. And uh, what did we, oh, goodness, I, Temperance and Tommy Guns. <laughs>